are headed to the camping spot. Welcome back to Gnarly Speed Shop. We have such a fun video planned for you guys today. You want to tell them what we're doing? Yes, we are going stealth camping in my 1969 Camaro, aka Slayer Camaro. For those of you who don't know about this car, this is a car I built back in 2016 to do cross-country road trips in. This car has been to 21 different states so far. Back then I was traveling alone and I would sleep in the back seat all by myself, all the way across the country, all the way back. But now that I got my partner in crime here, <laughs> um, there's just not enough room for us. So we are building a custom tent that attaches to the car yeah. that we can set up easily on the side of the road, just pull off somewhere. It's really stealth looking because mm -hmm. the car is black, the tarp's black, and um, there'll be enough room for both of us. So the inspiration for this, like for those of you who are wondering, like why not just use a tent? Um, I was scrolling on Instagram one day and I came across these like old photos of like 1920s, 1930s vehicles that had kind of like utilized the roof line and the side of the car as part of the structure for the tent. And I just thought that was so neat. So I, that's kind of what we're doing here. Took a little inspiration from that. But um, yeah, guys, there's a lot of history on this car that we wanna share with you for those of you who are new to the channel. But right now we are losing daylight. So we're gonna pack this thing up and we will see you at our spot. Okay, so we went to Harbor Freight, picked up some black tarps. We got some little sticks of wood here that we've been cutting on and we got some zip ties and some magnets to attach the top to the car. But basically we need to keep this thing really light, really small and compact so we can keep it in the trunk really easily. So when we get to that spot where we're really tired on the side of the road, we can just pull over, set it up. It's really easy. Take a little nap. Yeah, we have um, some food that we're bringing with us, uh, sleeping bags and a little heater for if it gets really cold out there. Yep, we went to Trader Joe's and we actually saw somebody at Trader Joe's that recognized us. What was his name? Oh again? yeah, shout James? out to James from Trader Joe's who watches the channel. That was so cool. He recognized us. But... Yep. We picked up some little propane bottles for the little camping stove we have. And I have mm -hmm. a little cot there that we're bringing. It's an aluminum one, pretty light. But actually half of this stuff isn't coming with us. Yeah. But, um, yes. So anyways, let's uh, get this tent finished. Mm -hmm. And we got to get out there because it is getting dark. Yeah, let's go. All right, we are headed to the camping spot. This is cool. It's okay, it's camouflage. All right, so this is our spot for the night. Um, pulled off here kind of next to a bridge, so you may hear and see some cars coming by, but that's all right because- They could really only see us from there. That's the thing is like, and then also once our like camping setup is complete, this whole side of the car should be like totally covered. That's so, true. Full. They won't be able to see it from that side. And then from there, they have a little bit of um, a section where they could see us, but I mean, there's no reflectors on the sun on the front of the car. Yeah, I think we're good. I like it. Let's get it set up. I'm so excited.
people are like, what in the hell are you doing down there, boy? <laughs> you see that guy drive by? Yeah. He had his head out the window, like, looking over the bridge. I guess we're not, is this stealth camping then? Making such a scene. But once it gets dark? Oh, once it gets dark. Oh, I dare it. you to come find us. <laughs> Okay, so we are just trimming the extra fat here. Um, making this lean, mean, <laughs> stealth e machine. All right, we got the aluminum cot out. This will be my bed. Olivia's gonna sleep in the back seat since she's a little tiny girl. <laughs> so let's see if this will fit inside our custom tent. Nice. Perfect. So we'll sleep like that. So if somebody comes in, they'll see my feet first and then I'll scare them away. It's cozy in here. Okay, we're doing a little stealth test. I don't know how stealthy we are with that smoke coming from that fire. Slayer. Damn. I don't think anybody's seen us yet. Hopefully not. There's a guy with a bike that's just been hanging out over there though. Oh yeah. All right, we are pretty much set up and ready for stealth camping. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of our crib for the night. So outside here, we got like the little patio area, got a fire going. So when we start cooking up dinner, we're ready to go. And if you will come this way. In here, we got Danny's bed already made. We got this little heater here in case it gets like a little too cold. And then let me show you my room. So you just. That's cool. This opens up like this to block this. Oh, yeah. So I just jump in right here and I'll be like chilling back here. Check it out. <laughs> and you got TV watching 1320 video in here. <laughs> you got it lucky inside. I'm out here with all the bugs. I know, maybe the snakes. What? <laughs> I got the freaking beverages. I got the 1320 on. She, you got a maid, but guess what? You got to cook dinner. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> I like this. And then we can put this down at night to block out the light. Close the door. There we go. That there works we... out pretty good. Mm -hmm. So here's a little tour of the outside. Put some rocks here on the edge so the wind won't blow it up. But all in all, the magnets are really strong. They're holding up and uh, we got a few bondo magnets too in the spots where there's no metal so that is helping us out but thank goodness there's no wind tonight yeah that's a huge plus okay well let's get that dinner going <laughs> well it looks like we have one giant cutting board yeah <laughs> basically we overpacked, but it's fine because it's just one night. We just wanted to do it in style. So we brought out quite a feast here. We got, this is Twinkie from the fair. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, if you know, you know, mm -hmm. Twinkie, Twinkie right there yep. as well. <laughs> we just brought some snacks, brought a salad and we're gonna make our own beans. Bacon beans. Bacon beans, yeah. And Brought a salad. Me some Canadian maple syrup. This is the real deal right here, right? The, you brought this from Canada oh yourself. Yeah. 100% pure maple syrup. This with the bacon is unbelievable. Mm, mm, mm. And we got these pinto beans we can mix that with. I guess we'll start with the bacon. Yeah. Okay, it appears we may have been spotted. Not good, not good. Are they coming over? Um, I don't know. I don't really want to turn around. We'll just tell them we're day camping if they come over here. Okay. 
Oh, I'm so, we're so close. Once it gets dark, I think we're in the clear. Oh, they're, they're leaving, kind oh. of. All right, let's get back to this cooking show with Danny right here. 100% organic, grass-fed pig. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> and for dessert, we're going to attempt to cook up some of these cinnamon rolls. Mm on the fire. I don't know how that's going to go, but stick around. <laughs> yes. Got a fire. So we forgot to bring the, uh, the kind to open this up. What do you call it? Can opener. Yep. Forgot the can opener, but I got my knife. So just like, what was that movie? Um. Dennis the Menace. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Almost there. Are we there? Nice. So we're using this Jackman's Canadian syrup, maple syrup. Jakeman's. Uh, Jakeman's. <laughs> <laughs> maple syrup. He doesn't even know what he's pouring in, but... But you just want to put a little bit at first. Mm. And then we'll add the rest of it after it's all crispy. Oh, I can't so this is just to like infuse the pig, the I mean the bacon, I guess yeah. the pig, with it first. And then we'll add some on top of it later. I think this is ready. Mm. Can you pull me up? Oh yeah. I'm stuck in this chair. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Oh yeah. Thank you. And so we can put it here in this tin. Make all my snacks out of it. For now. Way. Oh wait, is there something in here? There. Oh my goodness. Got some people cruising by. Flowmasters. 40 series. Check out this ham. I mean pork chops. Check out these pork chops. Oh yeah, boys. Mm. 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 <laughs> we move the fire or the we move this the move the cooker up to the hood. So we're not bending over so much. <gasps> I hear police. Police? They're coming for us. Oh. It's kind of spooky. Huh? It's kind of spooky. I just want to tell like ghost stories. Did you hear that coyote earlier? Yeah. I keep hearing rustling like over there and I'm like so on edge. All right, we're in our little tent here. We got dinner cooked up. <laughs> this is like camping in style. Okay. We got the buddy heater here, but it's not that cold tonight. No, so far so good. I'm try my first bite, Danny's bacon beans. Mm. Mm. I see what you did with the maple syrup. I see what you did. And the tapatio, just mm -hmm. a hint. Just, just a, a little. little hint of tapatio. Oh shoot, this is good. Mm-hmm. Dig Let's in. See. Let's see how I did. Okay, all right. All right, okay. I think it's delish. Mm-hmm. Mm. Twinkie. Twinkie, oh no. <laughs> This is Twinkie. We're gonna mac down mm. and we'll be right back. Well, it's definitely pretty spacious in here, I'll say that. I was a little worried when we were setting it up that there wasn't gonna be room, 
but I mean we got enough room for like six and a half foot cot that Danny's sitting on got lots of space here um, maybe if we were like trying to be a little more glamorous we would lay down like um, a tarp on the ground and then you could just sit here we got the heater going and then once this door here is open it gives you like even more room because you can go into the car mm -hmm. so I'm yeah so just so you guys have an idea the door is fully open on the car and I still have plenty of room over here to sleep and my feet did not even touch the other side of the end of the tent we also got the Caesar salad going I think once we're inside here we don't have to worry about anybody seeing us it's just when we're out there grilling yeah when we're out there cooking partying outside then we gotta worry but once we're in here we're in stealth mode that's it we just finished eating, so what are we cooking up for dessert? We have cinnamon rolls, organic jumbo cinnamon rolls. <laughs> but the problem is, I think if we just put them on here, it's just gonna burn the bottom of them. For sure. So we have to figure out a way to cook these without burning the bottom of them. So I was thinking about it. All we have is this here cooker and then this pan. Um, so maybe, if we put tin foil underneath, like maybe like crumple it up a little bit, mm -hmm. and then put a layer of tin foil on the top of that, like to suspend the cinnamon rolls from burning on the bottom. And maybe if we put a little bit of water around the edge to steam them, maybe it'll steam in there. And that, and with the the lid, where's the lid? Do you have the lid? I got, oh, the, I got lid the lid right here. If we put the lid over, maybe it'll like steam them, right? Because the oven, if you think about it, when you put these in an the oven. It's not just burning the bottom of them with heat. It's like heat all around, right? Yeah. So how can we get heat all the way around? Maybe if we just suspend them, then use the steam to, like, cook them? I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> We're going to try. It's the only option we got. So <laughs> give oh, the no. knife. Do you need a knife? How come you can't just, like, push the edge? Uh, don't you normally just push the edge? Is there a section? Edge? Oh, look, 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 <gasps> look, look. There you go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. It says press spoon at seam. Do you have a spoon? I have no spoon. I've got a finger. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Mmm. How many do you want? Well, they're jumbo, four. so probably just one. Three or four. What? <laughs> <laughs> they're jumbo rolls. I just need one. All right. You guys can hear the water boiling underneath there? See the steam coming up? Let's see. Ooh, yeah, that's hot. Okay. We'll turn it up to about 350. And we're off to the races. So while these cinnamon rolls are steaming over here, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you guys so, so much for making our first Gnarly Speed Shop merch drop so successful. We sold out of so many different sizes and shirts and I couldn't believe it. Like clearly we didn't order enough, but um, we have already ordered more inventory. So for those of you who were saying, you know, you didn't get your size, we will have new stuff back in the shop by next week. So I'll make a post so you guys don't miss it. But like I said, thank you. Because we put so much time into this. And we cannot wait to see you guys rocking the merch. So as soon as you start receiving your orders, be sure to tag me on Instagram. Or post it anywhere you can. And we'll try and reshare all your photos. But again, thank you guys. Mm -hmm. And the hats are coming soon too. That's true. Hats coming real soon. Mm -hmm. I think these cinnamon rolls are growing. They look like it. They're, right? they're pretty big. <laughs> these cinnamon rolls are like gonna explode out of there. <laughs> oh, oh, what time is it? <laughs> Almost fell asleep. 
Oh shit, they're almost done. I don't know if they're like cooked though. Let me check them. They are getting there. Oh yeah. Car people are so weird. It's like, oh, any moment you could like sleep with your car or whatever. <laughs> Everybody else is like, just get a freaking hotel. What are you doing, you idiots? <laughs> or they're like, just buy a tent. We just can't get enough of our reds. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of comments on this video of people being like, that's not even stealth camping. Why? <laughs> pretty stealth. <laughs> These are like <laughs> making cinnamon rolls. I don't know, like I just feel like we're so, like we're making such a scene. We got the music, we got like the steam. <laughs> we're all loud out here. <laughs> Somebody's gonna call it. We're gonna get a noise complaint out here. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. If you don't think this is stealth camping, I can't help you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just testing for the road. You know, the real, yeah. the real deal. When we drive out through Texas or go somewhere out of state. Yeah, chances are we're not gonna have organic jumbo <laughs> cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But, you know, places have campsites and stuff, so we could just set this up instead of a tent. That's true. That's true. Ooh. How much do you want? A good bit, because this is, like, the good part. How many do you want? Two or three? I'm... <laughs> I guess I'll have two, then. Do we have some coffee? Yes, we do. I brought Gee, some. We'll be partying all night. Oh, oh, a extra whoa. there for you. How are they looking? Are they cooked? Oh, those are definitely cooked. Good. Well, we did it without a oven. We did it. Holy heck. We're just sitting here chatting and something just like jumped on the car. Some, yeah, something just jumped on the car up. I think it could have been a raccoon. Let's go. Oh see. my gosh. I'm so scared. That was so loud. I like, guys, you should have seen me. I like jumped back in the car. <laughs> so scary. It's all right. It's probably a raccoon. Let's go inside and see what Olivia is up to. Another Baby, what's going on in here? Look at me, I'm watching Vice Grip on the iPad. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be for my gauges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what better time to like catch up on YouTube. <laughs> Look mighty comfy back there. I am. I'm loving this. This is so much fun. <laughs> what time is it? I think it's like 10. 10? Well, our heater broke. Our buddy heater is not being our friend at all right now. <laughs> and this thing's a big pile of junk. This is the second time this has happened to me. And the last time all I did was basically stick a Q-tip down that hole right there. I don't know if you can see that. And I guess that kind of unclogs it, but I don't have a Q-tip out here, do you? Nope. Well, what I do have is this stick here, about the size of a Q-tip, 
So hopefully it doesn't break off inside that hole right here. So this is like the fix for these pieces of junks. Just, just ramrod it. What a pile of junk. Let's see here, let's give it another reaming. Well, she in there, good. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's give it another shot. <clears throat> Pilot. Oh, it's making a noise now. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta get this thing working top notch because it's supposed to drop down to 47 degrees. 47 tonight. degrees? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna freeze out here if we don't get this thing going. That's pretty cold for these parts. I mean, then you see those other videos where people camping in negative 20 degree weather. That's, that's just dumb. <laughs> that's just like not for me. <laughs> like, I'm good here. My 69 Camaro. <laughs> Baby? <laughs> what you watching over there? Watching YouTube. What, what video? How to kill a mountain lion. <laughs> be tax. Just in case. Yeah. Okay. You just gotta stick your, your hand down its throat and grab its tongue. And uh, just pull on it. <laughs> they'll let go of you. How the hell do you do that? <laughs> That's what he said. That's BS. That is BS. I just clicked on the video. He could be total BS, but he says the first thing you do is reach down his throat and grab onto his tongue. Okay. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I was just going to shoot him. Junk. <laughs> <laughs> so, Did it shut off? <laughs> yes. This thing is no good for nothing. <laughs> really? The highlight of this camping trip has been Danny fighting the buddy heater. <laughs> You got it. You want to tell some scary stories? Um, no, because then I won't sleep. But uh, maybe you could tell the people um, why you call the car the Slayer. How that came to be. Well, once upon a time, <laughs> back in 2015, I purchased this here black, sinister... 1969 Camaro. How much you pay for it? About twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Cool. And uh, inside the interior, I found a switchblade knife, a bloody switchblade knife. And uh, well, my brother started calling the car Slayer because we weren't sure exactly how that blood got on that knife. Story has it, this car used to roam around on the streets and somebody used to just go around and stir up trouble. And uh, ever since, this car's just had that vibe, you know? Yep. It's the Slayer Camaro. Okay, another question. Why did you take this car all the way across the country? Like, what, what was, like, the motivation there, and what was, like, in it for you to do that? So, this is, like, my dream car, and is like, obviously a bucket list item for me to own, so I pretty much emptied my bank account to buy this car, and it didn't even have an engine or transmission in it, and uh, I had been telling people that I was going to build a turbocharged engine for it. And then that, um, also like another bucket list item was to drive across the country. So I was like, well, why don't I just build this car to drive across the country? My dream car, drive it across the country. 
So I started telling everybody that I was going to do that. And um, I, I built the car. And then it came time to where I was like, okay, now I got to drive this thing all the way across the country and back because I've been telling everybody about it. And so it was kind of like one of those moments where I just had to do it. And uh, I was just really nervous because it was just, I was by myself. But yeah, it took me 18 days to go to the East Coast and back. And I saw a lot of cool things and some adventures that only I know about personally, things that have happened along the way. And it's just one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. That's so cool. I got a little tiny snippet of it doing like the Redwood Rally with you of like just like driving like all day long. And we only went to one other state, but I, it made me like really want to do a road trip and like really take our time and like see things because obviously being on the Dragon Drive, we had to like be at the tracks. But yeah, when you're driving by yourself, you don't have a schedule. You just you don't know where you're gonna end up yeah and sometimes it's on the side of the road sleeping for the night <laughs> good thing we got our uh, setup now yeah this is gonna come in handy for sure this is I mean, so, it already is I mean like emphasis on spacious and yeah this is really nice and comfortable it's really cool to be camping in this car right now because I think back to like I think it was like five or six years ago I met Danny well because of this car um, in town here at like a local what was it like a cruise night or yeah it was like some type of classic car show was going on and I saw this exact car parked there at the bowling alley and I was like taking a million photos of it this is back when I was like a photographer and uh yeah, it was like my favorite car at the show. Nobody was around it, didn't know who the owner was. And then Danny came out and we got to chatting about it. And I think that was right after you had done that cross country road trip. Yeah. Because if I remember right, on the intercooler, I was taking pictures because you had all the states written out and you crossed them off. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just cool. It's like now here I am camping in the back of this thing. <laughs> It's crazy to think that this car has just been together like that for this whole time. Like yeah. it hasn't changed really. Same turbocharger, same engine setup. This thing just keeps on going. Keeps going. So good. All right, guys. So we had our fun, but uh, it's getting a little later now. Not a whole lot to do, so we might as well get to bed. And we're gonna get up nice and early and pack up this whole rig and uh, take it back to the shop. So, night guys. Good night. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We had a very fun night, but um, got a little cold last night. Our little buddy heater here was just giving me problems out here, and uh, I kept turning off every 30 minutes, basically. So I had to keep reigniting it because I was freezing. How'd you do inside there? I was good, like, temperature-wise, but my back and legs are, like, killing me from being all scrunched up like this. So is there anything that we could do to fix that? Like I think I just need to, like, put up a pillow here and stretch my legs across. Oh, so it's not long enough? Yeah. I think oh. that's, that's my only adjustment. I would just fix the way I sleep, but otherwise I was fine. Okay. So, yeah. 
So my bed was fine. The cot's good. It's just the temperature. If this, if this buddy heater would have been better to us, yeah. it would, I would be fine out here. Yeah. I just got so cold. Alright, we're back at the shop and we got the equipment all cleaned up and put away and this is what it looks like once it's all rolled up. So this will just cut these zip ties and everything will roll out and then we use these magnets to attach it to the car. And these stakes here, as you guys saw, we use that on the outsides of the tent to kind of keep it up with the string. So this is it right here. This can just go in the trunk Yep. and that's it. That's all you need to stealth camp with the Solera Camaro. <laughs> so was it worth it? I think so. Yeah, we didn't get the best rest, I'll say that. Like the no. rest kind of sucked, but <laughs> I think if we made some adjustments to the back seat for you, and if the buddy heater actually worked, then <laughs> it'd be he good. He went to froze to death. Yeah, but how about the cinnamon rolls? Those are so bomb. <laughs> made it happen. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, maybe uh, you guys would want like us to see us do this with another vehicle in here, possibly. But um, yeah, if you dug it, let us know. Maybe we'll do it with the Duke or with the Pontiac or any car, really. Yeah. Well, you know the gasser has a lot of room in it too. That's true. To sleep, but it'd be kind of cool to build something off of the top of one of the cars. Maybe this one right here, where we could like camp above the ground. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. But we also got our hands full with uh, two projects right now too. So we should probably concentrate on that for a little while, but the charger is definitely being worked on right now and under construction. Yeah. And then the Chevelle's engine should be here by the end of this month. So that's only like a couple more weeks, really. Finally, it seems like two years. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you thought of the video and um, be sure to support the channel. Just head over to gnarlyspeedshop.com and you can get yourself a snazzy new shirt like this. We have them in black and we have hoodies too. But like I said, thank you guys and we will see you next week. <laughs>